Hey everybody, it's Mikey Abrams with Texas Pride Realty Group. And one thing I want to share with you, one of the number one questions I get from being a real estate agent is, uh, before you sell my house, can you lower your commission for me? <laughs> That's a good one. My response is usually, oh, okay. So what kind of services do you not want for your house? Did you not want your house to sell for the most possible money it could go for? Did you not want the greatest of services? Sure, there's other real estate agents out there that I know will give the commission split all the way down and immediately to give you the discount. Is that the kind of real estate agent you want? The one that can't even negotiate their own salary? <laughs> how do you think they're gonna negotiate the price of your home? So here is how real estate agent commission works in the state of Texas. Usually it's 6%, 3% one side, 3% the other. We're gonna have this piece of paper represent the 6%. So it splits in half because we don't get both. One side for listing, one side for the buyer side. So poof, that one's gone out of my face. Uh, now before, I don't get this 3%. I'm gonna say a good third of it right now is gonna to go to Uncle Sam because I gotta reserve that puppy for the taxes that I pay at the end of the year. And then you're gonna have another 20 or so percent of your commission going over to your brokerage because the brokerage is gonna be representing you and representing the, uh, the company that's gonna be helping with the marketing. And then I'm gonna take another section of this that's gonna to go to my transaction coordinator. My transaction coordinator is going to be the person who handles the communication internally with the lenders and with the title company to ensure that all the I's are dotted and the T's are crossed and you get your survey in on time and the communication with the lender on the buyer's end totally has all their paperwork and crap together. So you want this person to ensure the fact that that is happening. The other thing is I'm going to pay for some of that commission you're going to be giving me I pay towards marketing. That's for social media marketing, boosting uh, posts, making uh, flip books, uh, putting things on all kinds of social media platforms and including uh, ZillowRealtor.com. I pay a fee to put things on the MLS as well. Then I gotta pay a fee, a smaller fee, so we'll just go like this. This is for uh, the Supra and the lockbox and a concierge service that actually gives you um, kind of communication as far as, hey, when's my house being shown? Is it protected properly? Are we just letting anyone in? So it's extra security. I'm gonna be paying for gas and I'm also gonna be driving people to do the showings. So a lot of my time is gonna be spent doing that as well. I'm also gonna be having an open house, so money is gonna be spent there as well, right? because I want to make sure that we have all the paperwork and all the goodie bags and everything wonderful and pretty that's going to go there. Now, not to mention that this is also including my knowledge, guidance, and care that I will be providing you and guiding you along the way. So looking at this right here is what I get. And you want to cut the commission? Well, then my response is going to be, excellent. You want to cut your commission? Where do you want it? Where do you want it? Because I care about my clients and I ensure the fact that they are getting the best possible value for their home and the best possible care for their home that they can get. So when you ask, cut your commission, my question to you is, are you not worth it? Because I think you are. Thanks for listening. Take pride in your real estate experience.